The walls of this Prospect Road gallery are crowded with the whimsical, the striking, the humorous and the sometimes puzzling creations of artist Geoffrey Stapleton. So far, it's what you'd hope for in a modern gallery. It's what's outside on the busy suburban footpath that's unexpected. Taking it to the streets and painting en plein air is just the boost Geoffrey says he needed. After a couple of years shut away in his studio, he'd noticed his work becoming devoid of human figures. But then as soon as I got out on the street, which has been about a year now, um, just the interaction with people has just been fantastic and, and, and people have started popping up in my paintings again, you know? Now, as he's painting in such a public space, you'd imagine that Geoffrey gets quite a bit of um, assistance from passers-by, and he does, but he says far from being annoying, it's actually very constructive. It's really interesting because um, I like to just start a painting, you don't know where it's going to go. And, and, you know, say with a painting like this, I had this old Greek lady stop when I was halfway through painting that, and she told me all the story about it. She said, oh, there's been this terrible accident, and this has happened, and that's happened. And she actually gave me a, a few clues of where I could take the picture. You know, that would never have happened if I was in my own little studio. For Geoffrey, art's been coupled with music for decades. In fact, he was a musician before he started painting. A drummer, keyboard player, writer and producer, even a bit of the old glockenspiel. And if you were anywhere near a radio in the mid-80s, then you'll know about his band Ganga Jack. Ganga Jang was just one of a dozen bands Jeffrey's been part of over the past four decades. But it's been the most successful, enduring to this day, and taking him all sorts of places. Strangely enough, they're big in Brazil, and trips there have been a huge influence in Jeffrey's work. What got him started on this musical path? Well, I thought, uh, to be honest, and it's uh, you know, something I'm proud of, but I thought it would be a fairly easy way to get girls. But Geoffrey happily cut short his budding career as a playboy when he met fellow muso and now wife and gallery partner Judith. And the art, well, that was only ever intended as a plan B. It seemed as though in the early 80s, I'd had my band The Aliens that, you know, did OK and we were signed to Mushroom and that, but that fell over. And I thought, well, you know, my career as a pop star or a rock star is finished, you know, and I was 26 or 27, so I started drawing, doing some drawing, thinking, well, I'd better have something to fall back on, you know. 40-something years on, he's still painting, playing, and painting about playing. <laughs>